In this video, we are going to discuss about M circles or constant magnitude loci. So, here M circles are used for stability analysis as we discussed when in the starting of stability analysis for stability analysis we are going to use different plots like Bode plot, Polar plot, Nyquist plot like that and the arrays like Routh array and after that M circles and the N circles Nicola chart like that. So, earlier we discussed all different topics like Bode plots, uh, um, Polar plots, Nyquist plots, Routh arrays like that. Now, we are doing stability analysis by using M circles here. So, generally M circles are used to determine the magnitude of closed loop transfer function using open loop transfer function. So, M circles determines the magnitude of closed loop by having open loop transfer function. Without knowing closed loop transfer function, if you want to uh, mention the magnitude of closed loop, if you want to know the magnitude of closed loop function, you can do, you can estimate by using M circles. And one thing for this is applicable, this M circles are applicable only for unity feedback system. So, for example, if you are having open loop control system, if you do not know the closed loop transfer function or anything, if that is unit feedback closed loop system, then you can estimate the magnitude of that closed loop transfer function by using open loop transfer function. So, now we will see about this M circles, how M circles are drawn, uh, we will see now. So, here I am going to consider what we need to do, we need to consider open loop transfer function. Uh, so, I am considering my open loop transfer function as complex transfer function like uh, x plus jy. So, this is my open loop transfer function. So, now if you want closed loop transfer function that means c of s by r of s or c of j omega by r of j omega if you want this then this is equivalent to as you know g of j omega by 1 plus g of j omega. So, if you are having open loop transfer function to make it closed loop transfer function what we need to do g of j omega by 1 plus g of j omega we need to consider. And here in place of g of j omega I am going to replace this x plus j y. You can observe here x plus j y divided by 1 plus x plus j y. So, here what we need to consider? We need to consider magnitude from open loop transfer function. If you know open loop transfer function, using this open loop transfer function, you are estimating the magnitude of closed loop transfer function. Here I do not know any closed loop transfer function directly. Whatever I know as open loop transfer function, I considered in this formula. So, I am doing this. Now, if I want magnitude of this closed loop transfer function, then this is equivalent to modulus of this one I need to consider x plus jy by 1 plus x plus jy. So, this what I need to consider. So, now this is equivalent to root of x square plus y square divided by and here I am having 1 plus x whole square root of 1 plus x whole square plus y square. And here m is equivalent to this one and both sides I am doing squaring. So, this is equivalent to m square is equivalent to x square plus y square divided by and in denominator that will be 1 plus x square, 1 plus x whole square plus y square. So, you just send this denominator to this side. Then what will happen? m square into 1 plus x whole square I am expanding and writing 1 plus x square plus 2x plus y square. So, here I am writing like this 1 plus x square plus 2x plus y square into m square is equivalent to x square plus y square. So, 
here you can see I am having x square terms and y square terms whatever x square y square x terms are there you just keep in left side and move any constants are there move to right side. So here x square coefficient here is there and here is there x square into so here m square and if I send this x square to this side m square minus 1 plus x coefficients. So here x into m square plus 2 so 2 m square not m square plus 2 so this is m square 2 x right so 2 m square so here that is it only x terms are only 1 that side no x terms so no need to take common 2 x m square. So here plus y square terms y square into m square minus 1 that is it and any constant terms means here one constant term is there so that is why minus m square. So I am sending this minus 2 I am uh, multiplying minus on both sides so x square into 1 minus m square plus or minus so here not plus when I am sending that minus to here 2 m square x minus or plus y square into 1 minus m square is equal into m square. So here another thing I am doing here I am taking common of this 1, 1 minus m square and I am sending to that side. So when I take in common of this so I will get like this 2 m square by 1 minus m square and here 1 minus m square. I will get like this. So now here I am having x square minus 2 by uh, 2 m square by 1 minus m square into x plus y square. So here I want to write this term in a proper manner. So that means minus 2 into m square by 1 minus m square into x. So you can see x square minus 2x something you need to make it as x minus a whole square formula. So that is why I am adding so m square what we need to add so m square by 1 minus m square whole square we need to add add m square by 1 minus m square whole square on both sides why I am adding this to make this formula into circle equation what is the circle equation x minus a whole square plus x minus b whole square is equal into r square this is radius a comma b is the center right like that if I want to make this equation as circle equation First of all what I need I need to make in the form of x minus a whole square and uh, x minus b or y minus b whole square form. So here this term is available to form in that manner the lack is we are lacking of this term so that is why I am adding on both sides. So here by adding this term on both sides this term I can write it as x minus m square by 1 minus m square whole square plus y square is equal to m square by 1 minus m square plus m square by 1 minus m square whole square. Here this, this point will take as center that means here center is center is m square by 1 minus m square comma here we are not having anything at y square so 0. So this is center always the y coefficient is equivalent to 0 here and the radius is radius of the circles m circles is m square by 1 minus m square whole square this is the radius. So now for different values of m we will get different centers and different radius of the circle so that will be like this so after considering that 
so you are going to get that circles like this so if this is j omega axis and if this is real axis you are going to get circles like this so that means with different centers you are going to get circles with different centers you are going to get circles like this and this is m is equivalent to infinity for this circle and m is equivalent to 0 for this right sided circle so for this circle the m value is keep on decreasing for this circle for example this is 0 0.6 this is 0 0.4 this is 0 0.5 so internal circle m is equivalent to 0 like that magnitude is equivalent to 0 for this 0 0.6 radius circle so that m value m value keep on decreasing for this sided signal uh, circles and here keep on increasing that means 1.2 1.4 1.6 like that it's keep on increasing for last circle internal circle so that m is equivalent to magnitude is equivalent to infinity so how we can find this magnitude means after doing this analysis after getting this center and radius we are drawing m circles with different centers and the different radius and our nyquist plot is going to subsume here that means going to um, place here and the point of interaction the point of interaction is considered as magnitude for that closed loop transfer function like this we will draw m circles in frequency response analysis so the point of in, uh, intersection can be considered as magnitude of closed loop transfer function here what we are doing we are doing we are taking open loop transfer function we are substituting in closed loop transfer function format and we are getting magnitude in this form we are making circle equation from that we are taking center and radius so after taking center and radius with different m values with different magnitude values we are going to draw the m circles the point of interaction of the this m circles with nyquist plot can be considered as magnitude of closed loop control system